All right, I screwed up and skipped a cutscene. I'm sorry. I think it was just, you know, Jill running off. So you don't have any backup. But other than that, so hopefully we didn't miss anything pertinent. I was trying to save it because I knew I was running out of time. I was actually watching the time limit this time. Which figures that bite me in the ass. The one time I'm watching, and I go to pause it so we can... Five. Pretty sure this is the way to go. Go out here. And of course, this is our last chance to use the box and everything, so I'm going to save it just in case. Mostly for the sake of an LP, because, you know, if I die, which is entirely possible, I don't want to have to, you know, go too freaking far back. And I'm pretty sure... Now, however, I would advise not completely loading up on items... Even though you can see I clearly have lots of health. I'm going to hang on to the shotgun against my better judgment just in case I run into any enemies and don't have to waste my magnum ammo. There's Jill. Let me go out here. Yeah, you don't want to fill up all your item space because I believe you have to be able to pick something up out here. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Well. Well, if I have to pick anything else up, I'll just waste two shotgun shells. How convenient. So. Running, running, running. Come on, something jump out at me. Yeah. Of course, I can't go. Jill, pick up the fucking ammo. Or the fucking fuse. There I am, wasting two bullets. I knew it. So anyway, you gotta be able to pick up the fuses. Of course, you gotta put the fuses in the door. Why it's missing, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be any point other than the game to laugh at you and go, What? You, you picked up more items? The self-destruct system's activated. Really? Brian's up in the helicopter. I wouldn't have fucking noticed. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. What? Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. I've been sitting on my ass the whole game. Okay. I gotta do something. I'll take the other bitch with me. I didn't even need the shotgun, really, then. Because I think it's pretty obvious that, uh... We're, we're, yeah, we're at end game here. We are finally at end game. The, and I hate that. The cutscene is, is sucking out time. There's no point reason for that. Alright. So get the fucking signal rockets. And you run out here. Onto the goddamn thing. And you use the sons of bitches. How handy these just happen to be here. What the fuck? Yeah, I know you, uh, Barry, you don't ever see Barry. We don't know what happened to Barry in uh, Chris's thing. But he does survive. It's mostly in uh, Jill's. Which kind of makes it hard to pin down whose story actually happened. And Oh, shit. Oh, pimp smack!
See, well, once again, right here, we're supposed to believe in, in with Resident Evil Zero that Rebecca's already been through this once. Oh, fucking A! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well, you know what? I better, uh... He can kill your partner. Oh, shit. He's gonna hit me again. So be careful. Ah, oh, damn it. He just totally honed in on my ass. Oh, yes. Yes, but bend down slowly. Don't pick it up quickly. Let's examine it. A very destructive weapon that fires rocket, ro rockets with a large blast radius. Oh, fucking A. I didn't even... I used my last health, so... Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Fuck you very much. I'm awesome, and you're not. <laughs> not one of the... Damn, I didn't, he really smacks your ass far, doesn't he? Fade to black as we beat the shit out of Brad. Motherfucker, whap, 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 whap! Fuck is wrong with you? Because, you know, Chris is a pilot. He can fly. So he just slaps the shit out of Brad, throws his ass out of the helicopter. And this scene's a lot better than this version. Oh, damn. Now, that's a, that's a total destruction thing right there. But in the original, it was like a, like a live-action thing, and then they superimposed a explosion over the top of that mansion. It was pretty bad. Once again, we don't see Barry, but Barry isn't dead. He actually survived this. Uh, yeah, so, whether or not I'll do a Jill playthrough, I don't know, I guess if you guys want me to say so, maybe I'll do it at the, uh, when I'm done with all the other games, here's the credits, and, uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of, uh, my Let's Play of Resident Evil Remake, um, Jill's playthrough is a bit different, but not, like, super different. So, I mean, I might do it, but, you know, I'm not sure how much I need to, considering you did kind of see the story. I mean, it only changes a bit. Uh, a lot of people consider Barry to be the most human character of the game. Uh, ever, you know, been a lot of criticism. I like this game. I, I enjoy... Oh, there's Jill in her uh, Resident Evil 3 outfit, which I believe you can unlock. I enjoy this game. I think it's pretty much superior to the original version of Resident Evil. Because, uh, I mean, it is what a remake should be. I mean, they didn't just remake it, but they added more stuff on to the game. They really, I think, did a good job. I think they said something along the lines of there was like... 70% of this game is all new content. They filled a lot of loose ends. They added some stuff, like with Lisa Trevor. I guess, you know, I guess the only thing they did was, like, they did everything they wanted to do originally but couldn't. Uh, even though, like I said, I'm not a big fan of uh, prequels. I don't really count this as a prequel. It's a remake. It doesn't really fuck with the actual canon. It just kind of... Tries to clear up some stuff. And, and really, once I played this, and then I went on and played uh, Resident Evil 4, I, I actually was, I guess I could say disappointed. But we'll talk more about Resident Evil 4 when I get to Resident Evil 4. And, uh... Chris, you did a fine job. <laughs> no, I really didn't. I, it took me 13 hours to beat this game. I could do a lot better. Real Survivor Mode. In this mode, item boxes are no longer linked. The item is put in the item box and retrieved from that location. In addition, aiming changes to manual operations. This is the prototype feature that existed even before the first Resident Evil game. 
Uh, not going to play that. Oh, yes, the closet key. This is, I believe, the uh, the room that that note was hit. It was uh, hinting towards, you know, the room behind the picture that no, not even Spencer knows about. But it's just a new costume. But I will save my data here. And there we go. Once again, I don't know what that means. Resident Evil. Just check it out. Jill Valentine. Not sure what that means. Well, it doesn't really matter because i got a switch disc. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I've got 11 subscribers. I'm very appreciative to all of you. Um, if you got anything to say to me, leave it in the comment box. I love comments. I always try to, you know, reply to all of them. Provided, of course, they're not some random stupid idiot online going, Oh, faggot, you suck it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't have any time for that kind of shit. But, uh, so that was Resident Evil, and I'm kind of irritated. I'm now ending up on this screen. This is how I'm going to end off. But, uh, that's all. I'll see you next time. Thanks. I'm Max Crowley. It's been a pleasure.